Alrighty, hey everyone, this is Garrison, and let's take a brief look here at the 2023 Volkswagen Taos SEL and the beautiful cornflower blue with the two tone leather red interior. Now, a uh, quick reminder. All views and opinions shared are that of my own and not reflective of any company affiliation. This is actually gonna be my first loaner vehicle here with the Volkswagen Group of America while I do take delivery of my new personal vehicle tomorrow. The Cornflower Blue looks great on this one. I've been driving this one a couple hundred miles while I've waited on my other car to arrive. But up front, SEL does give you some unique lighting accents. So you do have actually like a front light bar up top and then you've got your uh, leveling LED lights with the IQ branding, as well as a couple um, boomerangs there of LEDs. The beautiful 19 inch wheels do look very nice on the SEL. And then coming around the side, take a brief look here at the back. It just got your four motion badging because this one is an all wheel drive model. And while we're back here, Underneath the hatch, plenty of room back here. It is a very versatile cargo area. Illumination, 12 volt, 60 40 folding rear seats with a ski pass. Uh, that's really why you buy this um, A segment SUV. You're kind of graduating out of a compact sedan, maybe, uh, and just kind of want a little bit more room. And speaking of room, you do have plenty of rear seat room. So go ahead and sitting behind the passenger seat. The passenger seat slid all the way back. Gosh, probably four or five inches of leg room. Over here, you do have vents as well as a charger. Armrest, if I was a betting man. Yep, there's those cup holders. And then up top, plenty of light is let in from that uh, Pana roof. Nice view of the dash. You do have your uh, padded armrest with storage, all four automatic windows, regular gas. And then taking a look here at the window sticker, it is in the glove box. As far as content goes, the cornflower blue exterior, definitely a very distinctive color. That's kind of the main communication color you'll see on these. Connected to that seven speed DSG with four motion. So your front wheel drive models will have the eight speed automatic. I definitely recommend going for that front wheel drive model just cause that seven speed DSG probably uh, is, is maybe a deciding factor for some I could say. So SEL kind of loads you to the gills here. You've got your dual zone auto climate. If it wasn't the chip shortage, you also would have the heated and ventilated seats. Right now we just have the heated seats. Uh, this one does have rear cross traffic alert. You've got your all your uh, autonomous driving, travel assist, dynamic radar cruise, uh, emergency front braking, pedestrian detection, rear cross traffic, all that stuff. No options on this one and just getting 200 bucks for those ventilated seats. 35 630 at this price point you know the sweet spot in the segment's really about the uh, se trim level i would say kind of around that 30 grand sub 30 grand price point where you're still getting a lot of space and a lot of features for the money but for those that do want to spend uh the money the sel could be a pretty loaded model for you i don't know many a segment mainstream suvs with the cooled seats the digital cockpit and such like that and speaking of, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So you've got the eight-way power driver's seat right here. Over here, you've got your all automatic windows, power mirrors. Uh, they are heated mirrors, heated windshield wiper nozzles as well. And then foot on the brake, button to start. Just that door open chimes a little louder. Leather wrapped wheel, cruise, audio, Heated steering wheel as well, not many in the segment with that. Rain sensing wipers as well as your uh, blinkers over here. And then here's that eight inch touchscreen. So you've got the Beats Audio Premium System uh, with wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, mirror link settings. And then um, some pretty unique settings. So you can actually go in, there's actually ambient lighting throughout that you can customize, as well as you can customize the gauge positions. So you can see we're loading up the map right now. Um, not quite the Google Earth 3D renderings that you get at Audi, but nonetheless, this is pretty unique for the A segment model. So you can uh, go through a couple different things there through on the view section, and then you can scroll through different options for, you know, range, start, stop, is the phone connected, audio, and such like that. But you can actually also go in and customize what is in the gauge. So over here I have audio set and over here I have road sign. So it just kind of shows you the speed limit as well as what's playing with your um, navigation there. Honestly, top tier feature here. This is about a 10 and a quarter inch screen with your fuel level over there. 
And then over here on this one, won't go too in depth here, but you've got all your travel assist settings. As far as app goes, you've also got your connected navigation here. Going over here, that's where you set up your uh, phone connected vehicle settings. And then going into vehicle, vehicle status, tire pressure monitoring, and you can go into settings, dive in a little bit more. Lights, there's an ambient lighting. You can kind of scroll through all the different ones. Truly a pretty advanced system here. Um, and then there's like a little notification panel here where you can adjust brightness as well as audio and sound controls. Cool stuff there. And then down below here, there's those tri-stage heated seats, dual zone auto climate controls, two USB-Cs with a wireless charger. That's seven speed DSG with a sport mode. Rear camera, you've got your trajectory there with parking sensors. And then down here, of course, you've got all of your drive modes. So you can go eco, normal, sport, and custom. And then if you twist it, you can actually do different terrain settings. So whether that's off-road or snow, um, just to kind of customize that all-wheel drive system. Plenty of room there in the glove box. Auto dim rear view mirror that's frameless. All of your settings up here for your sunroof. One of my favorite features coming out of Ford was the actual sunroof opening settings is different than the shade. And so the shade actually has detents in it. So one detent is just halfway, the full one is the entire open. Where in Ford it was just, you, you press it all the way and it stops halfway through and you press it again. Just the small details like that. LED illumination there as well as over here. And yeah, we kind of breezed through this one. Obviously nothing super in depth. Just wanted to kind of get a brief video here of the Cornflower Blue Taos. As it is a very polarizing vehicle, it's as blue as blue gets. But um, that's what the segment's for. It's kind of the fun, whimsical, um, you know, but also professional. You see a little bit of that front light bar. But I'll insert that um, picture at night. But yeah, if you got any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I think this one's got around 600 miles on it. Got it with like 50 miles. So with this being a 23, there's still some wrappings on it. I think I saw some over here. So feel free to leave any questions down below. Happy to answer. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll all talk soon. Bye now.